Mike, I guess just right out of the gate, just what's it going to be like for you? You played against the Titans uh, last month, and now here you are playing against your former teammates. Just what's, what, what's that going to be like for you on Sunday? Uh, yeah, for me, it's definitely going to be a, a fun experience, you know, getting back, you know, getting back to go see a lot of guys that I play with, you know. Um, definitely excited for that. That's Rob. Given your position and the aggression you have to play with, you know, you have to be careful not to overrun, et cetera. Uh, is it going to be tough, like, to, to corral your emotions, you know, knowing some of the things that went into your, your departure from Houston and, and getting a chance to, to show them that they, they made a big mistake? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be fine. <laughs> I'm usually not a, a very emotional guy anyway. I'm, I'm going to play how I play. You know, that's, uh, that's always been my game, you know, no matter who I'm playing against. Uh, Terry, Zach, what do you think it'll be like? I guess when you get down there, because you'll know basically everybody on their sideline. What, what do you think that'll be like, and how will you shut that off come game time, and then you know renew acquaintances afterwards? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, it's for me, it's gonna be a you know good experience just to be able to go go back and see those guys. But you know, like I said, you know, I'm gonna play. Uh, I play regardless, you know, of who I'm playing against. You know, me knowing the person, or not. Uh, Trump. With how you've been able to, you know, come to the Titans and, and suddenly be inserted into uh, one of the top teams in the conference, you know, how refreshing has that been for you as a player, as a person, as an athlete, et cetera? Oh uh, yeah, it's been a been a blessing for me, you know, uh, being put in this position, you know, and that's uh, something I want to uh, take full advantage of and do what I can for the team, uh, you know, you know, for the help the team win. Uh, Terry, Zach, will it mean any more to you if you guys can clinch that number one seed uh, against the Texans? Will it mean personally? Will it mean anything more for you, or or is it just another game in that regard? Yeah, you know, yeah. It's not, obviously, it's gonna mean more for me. You being able to uh, clinch it, you know, going against a team that I, uh, just recently, like you said, a month ago, played with. So uh, it's, it's definitely gonna mean more for me. Uh, Jim. And, and then Zach, just what, what would maybe your overall thoughts or memories from your time there? You went there as a draft pick, you played, you had a good career down there, and then mm -hmm. obviously you end up here. But I guess just looking back at it, how would you describe maybe your days uh, in Houston? Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of good experience in Houston. Met a lot of good people, coaches, and players. And you know, overall, so I've had I had a great time while I was there. You know, blessed with the opportunity that, that I was given there. And I'm just trying to take full advantage of where I'm at now. Uh, Teresa? Zach, that said, have you had a chance to think about the fact that, you know, when you played for the Texans against the Titans last month, you know, you, you, you know, one win team, and now you're on a team that has a chance to clinch the number one seed, go into the playoffs. Do you almost get uh, whiplash with the, the, the change in, in status from a, a struggling team to a, a team that's uh, headed to the postseason? Uh, yeah, I haven't really been given too much thought to it. Like I said, I'm just trying to go out there and, you know, do what I can for the team, do what I can to help the team win. And that was my same, my same thought process when I was at the Texans.